Our first contender tonight is Dennis Irvin from West Sussex. He's answering questions on the Australian cricket team. David Bishop is a teacher from Hertfordshire. His specialist subject, James Elroy's LA Quartet. Nicola Nuttall is a children's play centre owner from Lancashire on the singer Kirsty McCall. And Chris Ward, a retired operations manager from Sheffield on the reign of King Henry VI. Welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. The rules are simple, two minutes of questions on their specialist subject, two and a half minutes on general knowledge. But the reality is pretty brutal. It's the clock and the spotlight and maybe even the black chair itself all adding to the pressure. So let us see who deals with it most effectively and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Dennis Irvin. Your occupation? Retired. And your chosen subject? Australian Test Cricket since 1945. In two minutes, starting now. Which country did Australia play in their first Test match after the Second World War? Australia won by an innings and the two countries didn't play another official Test match until the 1970s. New Zealand. Yep. Who made his Test debut against India in Sydney in January 92 and took one wicket for 150? Shane Warne. Yep. In the first post-war Ashes test, it appeared that Don Bradman had been caught on 28, but he was given not out. Who had taken the catch? Walter Hammond. Jack Eichen. By what unusual form of dismissal was Andrew Hilditch given out against Pakistan in 1979? Steve Waugh was dismissed the same way against India in 2001. Handled the ball. Yeah. Who dismissed Maninda Singh, LBW, in Chennai in 1986 to ensure that the match was tied? It was only the second tie in Test cricket history. Tim May. Greg Matthews. Dennis Lilly scored three runs with a metal bat at Perth in 1979 before he was ordered to replace it with a wooden one. What metal was it? Aluminium. Yep. Who was no balled four times for throwing in his only over of the 1963 Brisbane Test against South Africa? He never played first class cricket again. Ian Meckiff. Yep. What is the name of the trophy that has been awarded to the winners of Test Series between Australia and India since 1996? Uh, the Border Gavaskar Trophy. Yes. In the 2017 Sydney Test against Pakistan, David Warner made the fastest Test 50 by any Australian by reaching his half century off how many balls? 34. 23. At Peshawar in 1998, who scored 334 to equal Don Bradman's record for the most runs by an Australian batsman in a Test innings? Mark Taylor. Yep. In 2003, Darwin and which other city hosted the first Test series between Australia and Bangladesh? Brisbane. Cairns. Who played his last game for Australia in 1985, but later played test matches for his native South Africa? Kepler Vessels. Yes. What was the name of Australia's coach, who was sacked a few weeks before the 2013 Ashes series? He was succeeded by Darren Lehman. John Buchanan. It was Mickey Arthur. No passes, Dennis. You have scored eight points. And our next contender, please. And your name is? David Bishop. Your occupation? Teacher. And your chosen subject? James Elroy's LA Quartet. In two minutes, starting now. Which character first appears as a security boss for Howard Hughes in The Black Dahlia, is the betrayer of Mickey Cohen in The Big Nowhere and is murdered by Dudley Smith at the start of LA Confidential? Um, Buzz Meeks. Yep. Two real-life gangsters were supposedly murdered in a motor car by Dave Klein, the fictional anti-hero of white jazz. One of them was Tony Trombino. Who was the other? Um, Sam Giancana. Tony Brancato. On what avenue between 39th and Coliseum is the mutilated body of Elizabeth Short, the Black Dahlia, found? Norton. Yep. What two-word phrase is used in LA Confidential as a slang term for kidnapping? It comes from a famous case of the 30s. Uh, uh, Little Lindbergh? Yeah. Which notorious Chicago mobster asks Dave Klein through Mickey Cohen for a favour that results in Klein throwing a federal witness out of a ninth-floor window? That's Sam Giancana. Yes. What is the title of the television show that features Timmy Valburn as Raymond Dieterling's creation Moochie Mouse in L.A. Confidential? 
Uh, dream a dream time? Dream a dream hour. What distinctive clothing is worn by the Mexicans in the riots in which Bucky Bleichert helps Lee Blanchard arrest Thomas Dos Santos? Uh, zoot suits. Yep. In which department store's car park does Dudley Smith have a near fatal encounter with Dave Klein and Wiley Bullock? Macy's. Sears and Roback. Terry Lux, known as the plastic surgeon to the stars, appears in both The Big Nowhere and LA Confidential. What is the name of the rehab clinic that he owns in Malibu Canyon? Malibu Rendezvous. Pacific Sanitarium. To which state hospital is Madeleine Sprague committed indefinitely following her conviction for the manslaughter of Lee Blanchard? Um, the Angels. At a Scadero State Hospital. Whom does Ed Exley call the forgotten night owl victim? He was a member of the gang that hunted down Buzz Meeks. Uh, pass. What was the name of the Nazi Lieutenant Colonel from Buchenwald who was shot by Mal Considine in Krakow? Uh, pass. Well, I can tell you because you're out of time. It was Franz Kempfler. And you had one other pass. Ed Exley called Mal Lunsford the forgotten night owl victim. David, you have scored five points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Nicola Nuttall. Your occupation? I run a children's play centre. And your chosen subject? Kirsty McCall. Kirsty McCall in two minutes. Here we go. Kirsty McCall had the greatest UK hit of her career in December 1987, reaching number two in the charts when she featured on which song with the Pope? Fairy Tale of New York. Yep. With which record label did McCall release her debut single as a solo artist in June 1979? She later returned to the label after she left Polydor. Stiff. Yeah. With whom did McCall record a version of the Lou Reed song Perfect Day for inclusion on the Galore compilation album released in 1995? Evan Dando. Yes. McCall suffered from stage fright. It became apparent during a 1981 tour of Ireland to promote which album? Desperate Character. Yes. In November 1981, McCall released a cover version of a song by the Beach Boys that originally featured on the band's Pet Sounds album. Which song? You Still Believe in Me. Yes. What is the name of the record producer who worked with many acts, including Simple Minds and U2? McCall married him in August 1984. Steve Lillywhite. Yep. On which television comedy series did McCall make various guest appearances that included a performance of the song Trains and Boats and Planes, broadcast in March 1988? French and Saunders. Yep. Which song, written by McCall and her brother Hamish, contains the lines Be kind to each other, oh, that's what I know. Be kind to the mothers, daughters and sons. The hardest word. Yep. With which Canadian-born musician did McCall write the song There's a guy works down the chip shop, swears he's Elvis? Rumbo. Yes. At which London venue did McCall perform on the 28th of October, 2000? as part of a tropical brainstorm tour. She reportedly said it was the best gig she'd ever done. Shepherd's Bush Empire. Yep. Who rewrote his own song, A New England, for McCall? She had a top ten hit with it in 1985. Billy Bragg. Yep. What is the title of the 1994 album that McCall reportedly called her sad divorce album? It was recorded around the time her marriage broke down. Titanic Days. Yes. About which Caribbean country did McCall make a series of eight music programmes for Radio 2 in 2000? Cuba. Yeah. On which small independent label was McCall's single, Berlin, released in 1983? North of Watford. Correct. McCall died aged 41 in a boating accident in Mexico, at which church in central London was a public memorial service held for her on St the 20th of January 2001? St Martin's in the Field. Is correct. You had 15 questions. You have 15 points. Thank you. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Chris Ward. Your occupation? I'm a retired operations manager. And your chosen subject? The life of King Henry VI. Henry VI. Here we go. Henry VI succeeded to the English throne in September 1422 when he was nine months old. By what treaty did he inherit the French crown a month later? The Treaty of Troy. Yeah, which of Henry's uncles was named as the infant king's principal guardian and protector in a supplement to Henry V's will? Bedford. Humphrey, Duke of Gloucester. 
Early in Henry's reign, English forces besieged a French city for nearly seven months. The siege was abandoned in May 1429, shortly after Joan of Arc entered the city. Which city? Orléans. Yep. In May 1455, Henry was captured by Yorkists in the first full battle of the Wars of the Roses. What was the battle called? The First Battle of St Albans. Yes. Henry was forced to agree to an act of Parliament in 1460 that excluded his son Edward from the succession in favour of the Duke of York and his heirs. What name is given to this act? The Treaty of Accord. The Act of Accord, yeah. Who adopted the title Captain of Kent and the alias John Mortimer when he led a popular 1450 revolt in Kent against Henry's regime? Jack Cade. Yes. Henry had a mental breakdown shortly after the English army was defeated in July 1453 in the final battle of the Hundred Years' War. Which battle? Castillon. Yep. What educational institution did Henry found in 1441, a year after he had founded Eton College? King's College, Cambridge. Yes. A feud between two West Country families is often used as an example of Henry's inability to maintain local law and order. The Courtney's were one family. What was the name of the other? The Bonvilles. Yes. What new Latin-derived term was used for the restoration of Henry to the English throne in October 1470? The Readeption. Yes. What name was given to the public display of unity between the Yorkist and Lancastrian nobility led by Henry on the 24th of March 1458? The Love Day. Yes. In whose palace did Henry spend most of the brief period of his restoration? The Bishop of London. Correct. The Yorkists won their final victory at a battle in May 1471 where Henry's son Edward was killed. In which battle? Duke it was. What French office granted to Richard, Duke of York, during Henry's illness was taken from him when the king recovered and returned to the Duke of Somerset? Lieutenant Governor of Normandy. No, it was Captaincy of Calais. You have, however, Chris, no passes, 12 points. the end of the first round, let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place, five points, David Bishop. Third place, eight points, Dennis Irvin. Second place, 12 points, Chris Ward. First place, 15 points, Nicola Nuttall. It is the general knowledge round now, of course, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, then we have a tie break. So let's get on with it and ask David to join us again, please. And uh, you chose one of those subjects with a huge amount of detail yeah. in it. Anyway, you've got five points. You've got two and a half minutes of general knowledge, plenty of time to catch up. Here we go. Which type of dog, a favourite of the Queen, has two recognised breeds named after former Welsh counties? Corgi. Yep. Elizabeth David, who died in 1992, was an influential writer on what subject? Cookery. Yep. The name of which spring flower comes directly from the Middle English name for the asphodel plant? Snowdrop. Daffodil. In politics, what pejorative term of American origin is used for a spokesperson employed to give a favourable interpretation of events to the media? It's particularly associated with the Blair era. Uh, spin Doctor. Yes. Houston and Connolly are the main railway termini in which European capital city? Uh, Madrid. Dublin. In which television series first shown in 2005 did Jared Padalecki and Jensen Ackles play the demon-hunting brothers Sam and Dean Winchester? Supernatural. Yes, the adventures of which fictional character were originally published in 1726 as travels into several remote nations of the world? Uh, Gulliver. Yes. The model Yasmin Pavana married the lead singer of Duran Duran in 1985. What's his name? Simon Le Bon. Yes, the works of which English landscape artist include Salisbury Cathedral from the Bishop's Grounds and Flatford Mill from A Lock on the Star? A Lancer. Uh, constable. What nickname was given to the Chicago gangster Al Capone as a result of a barroom fight? Scarface. Yes. What term for a pirate comes from the French for a wooden frame for smoking the dried meat eaten at sea? Peg. Buccaneer. Jainism is one of which country's most ancient religious traditions? It began there in about the 6th century BCE. Uh... Japan. India. What is the title of the 2007 sequel to the 2003 film Bruce Almighty? <sighs> Evan Almighty. Yes. In which folk opera does the drug peddler Sporting Life persuade the heroine to go to New York? 
Uh, Beggar's Opera. Porgy and Bess. The stage name of which actress and singer born in Tennessee in 1992 is derived from her childhood nickname that she was given because she smiled a lot? Uh, pass. Tar steps on Exmoor and Post Bridge on Dartmoor are examples of an ancient bridge found in the West Country that consists of stone slabs laid across a series of rocks or piles of stone. What name is given to this type of bridge? Stone Bridge. Clapper Bridge. What word of Old English origin is used as a synonym for beer but often refers to the lighter, paler brews? Ale. Yep. John le Carre's 1963 novel that's set mainly in Berlin and is about the ageing British intelligence officer Alec Lemus is entitled The Spy Who Came In From The... Cold. Yes, from the cold. Exactly right. You had one past the stage name of that actress and singer who smiled a lot was Miley... Not Smiley, but Miley Cyrus. There we are. David, you have a total now of 15 points. <laughs> uh, now, Dennis again, please. And you start out this round, Dennis, with eight points. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Here we go. In snooker, what colour ball is worth six points? Pink. Yep. Which German-born composer who became totally deaf during the last years of his life died in Vienna in 1827? Beethoven. Yep. Calvados is a brandy distilled in Normandy from the fermented juice of what fruit? Pear. Apples. What is the stage name of Ian and Janet Tupp, the Scottish husband and wife comedy team whose act features a father and his mischievous schoolboy son? The Crankies. Yes, the samurai leader Minamoto Yoritomo became the first holder of a Japanese title in 1192 and Tokugawa Yoshinobu the last in 1867. Which title? Emperor. Shogun. Who was nominated for Oscars for her roles as Rita in Educating Rita and as Mrs Wilkinson in Billy Elliot? Julie Walters. Yes. Which republic, made up of over 7,000 islands and islets, lies about 700 miles off the coast of Vietnam? Philippines. Yes. On which instrument did Louis Armstrong become a celebrated performer? He originally learned to play the bugle and the cornet. The trumpet. Yes. Which actress and former Labour MP returned to the stage after 25 years in 2016 to play King Lear? The radio presenter Jack DiMaggio once reportedly said she has a face to launch a thousand dredges. Glenda Jackson. Yes. What is the title of Sir Edwin Landseer's celebrated 1851 oil painting of a Highland stag? Pass. Who became the primate of South Africa's Anglican community when he was appointed Cape Town's first black archbishop in 1986, a post he held until 1996? Desmond Tutu. Yes. In Auf Wiedersehen Pet, how was Brian Busbridge, played by the former wrestler Pat Roach, known to his fellow builders? Pass. In which London venue have the Promenade Concerts traditionally been held since the bombing of the Queen's Hall in 1941? The Albert Hall? Yes. The International Airport built at Abbots Inch is about eight miles west of which Scottish city? Glasgow. Yes. What large heavy hammer wielded in both hands takes its name from the Anglo-Saxon for to strike? Um, pass. Which media mogul and former Italian Prime Minister gained notoriety for his bunga bunga parties? Silvio Berlusconi. Yes. What is the real first name of Pep Guardiola, who was confirmed as Manuel Pellegrini's replacement as manager of Manchester City in February 2016? Pedro. Josep. Whose novel, The Moonstone, was described by T.S. Eliot as the first, the longest and the best of modern English detective novels? Wilkie Collins. Yes. What name is given to the holes that drain a ship's deck? I don't know. <laughs> well, you'll be cross when you hear it, cos um, <laughs> it's obvious. But only if you know scuppers. Yeah. Anyway, that was one of your passes. The other pass is sledgehammer. Yeah. That big hammer that you use two hands with. Bomber was how Brian Bruss Bridge was known to his fellow builders. And the title of Lancia's celebrated painting, The Monarch of the Glen. Of the Glen. <laughs> I know, it's easy when the clock stops, <laughs> isn't it? Anyway, Dennis, you have a total of 20 points. And now Chris again, please. And Chris, you start out with 12 points. The score to beat as it stands is 20. Well, let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Here we go. 
What birds are known as a gaggle when they're on the ground and a skein when they're in the air? Geese. Yep. By the Sleepy Lagoon, written by Eric Coates, is the theme music for which Radio 4 programme that celebrated its 75th anniversary in January 2017? There's island discs. Yep. The airline Qantas is based in which Commonwealth country? Australia. Yes. What is the name of the jockey who famously rode Shergar to victory in the 1981 Epsom Derby? He was nicknamed the Choir Boy because of his angelic looks. Oh, Steve Cawthon. Walter Swinburne. In 1851, the highest mountain in New Zealand was given an English name by which it is generally known. What name? Cook. Yeah. What word that is thought to come from the Latin for to boil is used for gold, silver or other precious metals in the form of ingots or bars rather than coins? Bullion. Yes. In which town was England's second oldest bishopric founded in 604 when Bishop Justus was given land by King Ethelbert of Kent? Canterbury. Rochester. Waiting for Godot, initially performed in Paris in 1953, was the first successful play by which Irish-born writer? Oh, pass. What is the name of the art gallery founded in 1856, principally through the efforts of the 5th Earl Stanhope, which moved to its present location in London St Martin's Place in 1896? National Gallery. National Portrait Gallery. Who was the famous Muslim leader born in about 1137 in Tikrit in Iraq? He's particularly associated with the Crusades. Saladin. Yes. What name is given to animals such as kangaroos and opossums whose young complete their development attached to teats, usually covered by a pouch on their mother's belly? Marsupial. Yep. The official who summons the Commons into the House of Lords to hear the monarch's speech at the state opening of Parliament is known by what title? Black Rod. Yes. In which American city is the stainless steel gateway arch that symbolises the city's role as the gateway to the West? Chicago. St Louis. What work by Hector Berlioz is subtitled Episode in the Life of an Artist? Uh, Carnival of the Animals. Symphonie Fantastique. Which body of water whose lower limit lies between Heartland Point in Devon and St Govan's Head in Pembrokeshire merges with the Severn Estuary at its upper end? Bristol Channel. Yes. Malibu is a Caribbean white rum-based liqueur with what flavouring? Coconut. Yes. In the lyrics of which BBC sitcom themes are we told, Mr Brown goes off to town on the 8.21, but he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun. Dad's Army. Yes. Which St Kitts-born singer had top ten albums called Me, Myself, I, Walking Under Ladders and The Key in the early 1980s? Bob Marley. Joan Armatrading. Chris, you had one pass. Waiting for Godot was written by Samuel Beckett. Yes. Uh, you have scored a total of 23 points. <laughs> and finally, Nicola, again, please. And um, you start out with 15 points. However, the score to beat has now increased to 23 points. So let's see how you do. If you are to get into the semi-finals. Here we go. The theme park, originally known as Euro Disney Resort, is near which major city? Paris. Yep. Babushka is a title given to which member of a Russian family? Mother. Grandmother. Which biblical figure does the book of Genesis say was in the 600th year of his life when the fountains of the great deep were broken up and the windows of heaven were opened? Methuselah. Noah. What term is used for an animal that eats both plants and meat? Omnivore. Yep. What is the name of the American film director and screenwriter who created the television series Twin Peaks with the writer and producer Mark Frost? David Lynch. Yes. By what name are the first group of the 12 violin concertos of Vivaldi's Opus 8, the contest between harmony and invention, generally known? Four Seasons. Yes. Jeremy Corbyn appointed which long-serving MP as Shadow Home Secretary in his October 2016 front bench reshuffle? Diane Abbott. Yep. What is the name of the American swimmer, the most decorated Olympian in history, who won five gold and one silver medal at the Rio Olympics, taking his overall tally to 28 medals, 23 of them gold? Michael Phelps. Yes. What territory was established as an independent state by the Lateran Treaty of 1929? Vatican City. Yes. What thick, chunky North American seafood soup is commonly made with clams? Gumbo. Chowder. Which British playwright was nominated for Best Screenplay Oscars for the 2002 film The Hours and the 2009 film The Reader? Pass. What term, thought to be based on an Irish name, describes an alcoholic drink that has been spiked with a sedative? 
Hooch. Mickey Finn. What name did Thomas Hardy use for the southwestern counties, especially Dorset, that provide the setting for much of his work? Wessex. Yes. Diamond and graphite are composed of which chemical element in different crystalline forms? Carbon. Yes. What model village on the Wirral was built from 1888 by William Lever as a residential estate for the workers at his soap factory? Port Sunlight. Yes. The summit of Aconcagua, the highest peak in South America, is in which country near its border with Chile? Um, Brazil. Argentina. Which Secret Service agent who featured in 12 novels was named by his creator after the author of Birds of the West Indies, a book he owned in his Jamaican home? James Bond. Yes. Which American city gives its name to a wooden rocking chair with a high spindle back, a decorative top panel and a seat and arms that curve down at the front? Carver. Boston Rocker. What song title was shared by three UK top ten singles in the 1980s? All three were different songs and were performed by Jennifer Rush, Huey Lewis and the News and Frankie Goes to Hollywood. The Power of Love. Yes, what term that comes from the old English for worker is given to a maker or repairer. It's most often used in combination with other words such as ship or wheel. Right? Yes, right. Right is right. Yes. One pass. So David Hare was that playwright who um, got all those Oscars. Uh, you scored, Nicola. Total of... 28 points. <gasps> At the end of the round, let's look at the scores. In fourth place with 15 points, David Bishop. Third place with 20 points, Dennis Irvin. Second place, 23 points, Chris Ward. First place, a clear winner with 28 points, Nicola Nuttall. Which means, of course, that Nicola is tonight's winner and she goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to her. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>